In this video, I'll describe the control circuit of the reflow oven. Firstly, I'll talk briefly about the schematic. Secondly, I'll show how I built the prototype. And finally, I'll comment on some notes about how to download the firmware. The design is very simple, and the whole idea is making it as easy to build as possible. The main component of the circuit is a self-contained ESP32 module that has the application firmware and the interface with the computer software using Wi-Fi. The firmware has been made using the Expressive Toolsuit based on ESP, IDF and CMake. In order to measure the relatively high temperatures of the oven, a thermocouple type K has been used. The thermocouple, based on the thermoelectric effect, generates a voltage proportional to the temperature, but this figure depends also on the temperature of the other side of the probe, the cold side. Fortunately, there are chips that already make the so-called cold junction compensation. In this case, I bought a module from eBay based on the MAX6675 IC, which also has an SPI interface, a resolution of 0 0.25 degrees Celsius, and a measuring range up to 1024 degrees. With the aim of simplifying the circuit, a ULM2803 Darlington array has been used both as a level shifter and to increase the output current. The relay lights and fan are simply open collector outputs. The RC servo is always powered and the open collector output of the ULM2803 has a pull-up resistor to generate the 0 to 5 volts control signal. After placing all the elements of the control box, it was possible to measure and cut the outline of the circuit. It's a two-sided perf board. In my experience, it's easier to use a one-sided perf board for this kind of assemblies, but I've used a double-sided board because I already had it at home. The technique used for building the circuit is simply soldering the different parts and modules, wiring them together using soldered wire wrapping wire. There is a link to another video about how to build the wire stripper down in the description of the video. The first thing is soldering the ESP32 module in place. For soldering the rest of the parts, I'm marking the position with the circuit in its final location. Now soldering some of the connectors. Changing the right angle connector of the MAX6675 module to a straight one. Drilling the mounting hole, bolting and soldering the MAX6675 module. Soldering the ULN2803. Soldering the connector for the RC servo. Adding labels with the connector's legend. Now I am assembling the legs with a circuit upside down to make the wiring easier. Some of the connections of the power rail are made using through hole resistor leads. The rest of the circuit is wired using wrapping wire. In general, keeping a color code for different subcircuits helps to build the board and with future repairs. In order to download the fewer images, the simplest way is using the tool that Expressive provides. The links for the firmware images and the tool are in the description of the video. Open the binary files of the reflow oven. Set the position of the images on the flash memory. The bootloader's address is 1000, the address of the partition table is 8000, and the application address is 10,000, all in hexadecimal. Enable all the files, check in the associated checkbox. Click on default to set the default options. Select the port, in this case it's COM6. Select the speed. The maximum speed with the UR2 serial bridge 
present at the ESP32 module is that one. Click on Start and wait until the module is programmed.